now coming to non steroidal anti inflammatory drug non steroidal anti inflammatory drug have reversible anti platelet effect that is very important it is a reversible anti platelet effect so once the drugs are eliminated the platelet function usually returns to normal concomitant nacd non steroidal anti inflammatory administration in the perioperative period does not increase the risk of spinal hematoma with neuroaxial anesthesia usually nsaid is discontinued in patients who are at risk for perioperative acute kidney injury normally nsaid or discontinued 24 to 72 hours preoperatively you withhold nsaid for 2 to 3 days but if you are withstanding little bit earlier like 3 to 4 days it does not increase the safety of discontinuation also it can become a very big burden in patient with significant arthritis or chronic pain coming to cox2 inhibitor cox2 inhibitor have minimal effect on platelet function and can be usually continued in the perioperative period long term cox2 inhibitor can increase the risk of cardiac events that is very important short term there is no clear evidence of increase cardiac risk the exception is valdecoxib which can increase the cardiac risk in patient undergoing cardiac surgery cox2 inhibitor have a cardiac risk profile which is very similar to ibuprofen or diclofenac now coming to hormone replacement therapy post menopausal hormone replacement therapy this is stages post menopausal it contains estrogen that increases the risk of thromboembolic event so it is almost reasonable to discontinue this medication before surgery in post menopausal women estrogen should be stopped approximately 4 weeks preoperatively for the coagulation function to return back to normal nowadays most oral contraceptives contain low dose of estrogen nonetheless this medication are still associated with elevation in thrombotic risk now coming to young middle age women since the risk of unanticipated pregnancy may outweigh the benefit of discontinuing oral contraceptive it is reasonable to continue oral contraceptive in those group during the perioperative period in patient who are at high risk for post operative vena thromboembolism consideration should be given to stopping oral contraceptive at least 4 weeks before surgery and you have to switch to other forms of contraception the decision to continue or stop should balance the risk of venous thromboembolism versus the risk of unwanted pregnancy